Hi, myself, Sainat Katirubali, a senior quant faculty and a GMAT expert at IMS International. Today's video is on a trickier problem solving question from GMAT. If you look at this question, this question appears to be an easy question, but is not as easy as what it looks to be. Before you continue watching this video, I would certainly recommend you to take a pause of this video for two minutes, try work this question on your own, and then resume back watching this video. This way it will certainly add value to your learning. Now coming to this question, here it's given that if x minus 10 is equal to root x plus root 10, the question is asking you to work the value of x. Anybody trying to work a traditional mathematical approach, subjecting variables to one side and constants to another side, or taking any other method traditional way working it out, you see ending up spending a lot of time than what you should be. And still you find yourself nowhere closer to the answer. Here, when it comes to the question, and especially when it comes to GMAT, it's a test of observation and test of logical thinking. You know very well that you never need to spend working more than five or six steps. By any chance, if you're exceeding more than five steps, you need to take a pause, relook into your approach, whether have you picked up an, a, a, a different approach, which is not a GMAT style of working, or else is your understanding of the question Right, you know. So now here, if you look at it, the equation given is x minus 10 equal to root x plus root 10. Now, if you observe carefully, we try to bring the left-hand terms also quite similar to the one which is in the right-hand side. I write this x as root x whole square, and then I even express this then in terms of root as what you see in the right hand side, so root 10 whole square, and you have root x plus root 10. So which is all the same equation as above, right? So if you remember, a square minus b square is nothing but a minus b into a plus b. Going by this concept, you split this root x whole square minus root 10 whole square as root x minus root 10, times of root x plus root 10. On the right hand side, you have this root x plus root 10. Now dividing both sides, dividing both sides, both sides by root x plus root 10, what you get is root x minus root 10 equal to one, right? And now subject the variable x, then you have this one plus root 10, squaring it on both sides, gives you x equal to one plus two root 10, which is nothing but 11 plus two root 10. Hence the answer to this question must be E. If you look at it, this is one step, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. So if it's a GMAT question, it shouldn't be exceeding any more than five to six steps. Now, you got the answer to this question within six steps. So that's how it should be. So whenever you're working a GMAT question, as I told you, if you are exceeding any more than five to six steps, take a pause, relook into your steps or the approach that you picked up. Is that a right way to work a GMAT question? If not, your understanding of the question must have gone wrong. Correct yourself on that and you end up with the right answer. So that's all about it from today's question. However, if you really followed working this question, then I would suggest you working a similar question and type in your answer to this in the comment box. I'd be eagerly waiting to see your answers. So good luck and happy GMAT preparation to you all.